agency just underwent a refresh, so I really want to start with that. You know, you are a 200 year old brand. You, know, yes. you started as a news agency and you know went on to become an agency, an ad agency. Uh, what is this re recent refresh going to look like and basically what was the agenda behind it? So I think what's really important is that whole concept of entertainment and culture. And what we've been doing within Vivendi and Habas is looking at what we need to supply our clients and how we create an environment that genuinely makes a meaningful difference. You'll know that our positioning is all around making a meaningful difference to brands, businesses and people. And that's irrespective of whether it be media, creative or health. And what we've done, particularly with the rebrand, is visualise that and bring the whole network together under a common whole group theme. And that is very much reinforcing the integration to be honest, and our whole message around integration. You know, everyone who wants to stay relevant has to reinvent themselves. So I want to ask you, Donna, what do you think the Cannes Line International Festival of Creativity needs to do to be relevant? What needs to go most importantly? <laughs> so I think to be relevant, we actually just had that conversation. It would be wrapped around talent and the uh, recognition of talent. We celebrate creativity as we should, but we should also be celebrating talent. One example of that is at the Habas Cafe this week, we'll be celebrating with 225 students from all over the world, embracing our talent, bringing them into the industry and nurture it. And I think it's a miss and it's a, something we should focus on in addition to creativity. So it's also very interesting that you move from the, uh, leading the healthcare business of Habas to the creative side of it too. Uh, you know, even I can, I think the healthcare awards are very uh, as pretty soon. How are you planning to go forward from here on now and what is the integration going to be like? So before I get to get that, it's interesting you said that. Health is separated from not mainstream, but if you look at the mainstream awards, there are a huge amount of lines that are won with health related subjects. So the lines have blurred, which mm -hmm. is exactly what has happened with health and creative, which is why we've done it. So if you look at health after COVID and our brands, everything has a health, health wrapped into it, health around it. One example would be, we pitched Harman. We won Harman globally. Harman is speaker and headphones. And if you think about headphones, what relevance do they have to health? Well, think about it. It's exercise and, and health and the lines have blurred and totally come across. And when you put the expertise of health with the strong creativity, Total magic happens in a totally different way. And Rana, I'd like to come to you. Sure. Uh, what is the breakup of uh, health and creative business in India? So, see, uh, naturally, if you look at traditionally in India versus if you look at North America or other parts of the world, India actually has very strict regulations about how you can advertise that brands and also naturally limits the capability. But what we are realizing is that if you look at the numbers right now, if I have to look at the group, it would be around maybe around 30% or 35% in health and balance is created. But I think with consumer health and everything that's taking place overall and also in India, which is wellness, health, and the entire thing of about you know, nutrition and etc. I think the opportunities are huge. I want to get a lot of stuff happening over the next few months about how we are diversifying the consumer health decision, which is happening as we speak, a lot of work is happening in that region and all. And I think, you know what, I've also realized over the last few years, and it's sad this year that, you know, Creative agencies pretending to be a health or a specialist agency is difficult mm -hmm. because when clients get into super specialist agencies in terms of wellness, nutrition, and many such forms of conversations, I think a health expertise makes it a very strong differentiator. And I'm glad we have that. And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of conversations happening in India right now. Can I add to that? So, what's I was in here about a month ago, and um, we've got a whole series of visits taking place in the into is one of our ferals markets mm -hmm. because it's one of the most uh, entrepreneurial, innovative, growing uh, areas of our, of, of our network. You know, bear in mind we've got 74 villages globally. Mm -hmm. To actually pinpoint India as one of those is it's quite an achievement. But what Rana's talking about is the way the village operates is very much an integrated offering. So, yes, there is a media capability, yes, there is a health capability, yes, there is creativity. But when our clients come to us, we create the team that are most appropriate for that solution. So it'll be a mix. And it's it, because we all operate together, 
it is generally about client first. Okay. So it's around client models, not about agency constructs. And I think that's really important. It's, it's a huge differentiator yeah. for us. Yeah. It's a very large differentiator yeah. I think it's for huge. us. I think because it's we're, we're talent to test, and we're not siloed, and I we're mean, totally flat. I mean, and Donna, I also want to ask you, you know, your uh, appointment to this bigger room, and it's a whole theater for you, uh, uh, it also marks a shift in power from Europe to North America. Do you see the Europe, uh, the North American market becoming bigger than Europe for you in the near future? So I think, first of all, we don't look at it as a shift for a, for a global organization across the world, no matter where we sit. So for us, it's not a shift. But yes, North America will always be. Mm -hmm. a huge focus for us and a huge investment for us as it's it's the largest market in the world so yes we will continue to invest heavily in there and focus but make no mistake we're global and how would you compare india to some of your bigger markets well we're all excited about india as tracy just said it's a primary a priority market if you see the number of acquisitions we've made you're going to see a lot more mm -hmm. we are totally committed and totally focused we're very excited you know talking about acquisitions uh, you know uh, Commerce India has been obviously on a big acquisition spree, yep. and many have been compared it to Densu of the past. Mm -hmm. uh, but Densu is almost trying to put the toothpaste back into the tube and integrating it all together, you know, in, under one creative brand. So, what do you have to say about these acquisitions and the the paths that you're going to chart? So, I think I think uh, you know you know I think the answer lies in the fact that if you look at the rebranding that we've done, which is of us, which is, there's nothing called group right now. So we don't want to sound condescending or trying to be bureaucratic by saying that, oh, we are a group of companies, right? We are Havas. And the, the new philosophy is one Havas. So if you see what we're doing is that, unlike the agency that, that, that you just mentioned, it was just adding expertise just for the heck of or whatever we were doing. Ours is a very simple philosophy in India. If it is a growing market, if it is a market which is showing opportunities, if it's a market which has potential for the region and for global, and we're going to add expertise, which is going to help not only in India, but it's also going to help globally. So if Donna believes or Tracy believes that there can be a center of excellence, which is a huge round of content writers working for health, we're going to build it in India. If it's going to work for design, which is quadrant, we're going to build it. And if you build it for market, which is what the media group has done, is that they've been one of the largest market place models out of India, which is 150 people in less than a year. So it is not just acquisition, it's about acquiring agencies which adds to the global footprint and adds to the expertise of India. So we don't look at it like a salary, it's actually the big advantage of it. You had some great entries last year on a global level like that, which is going to be your liquid this year. So we, we all think our um, entry for wreckage for Vanish. I don't know if you're familiar with it, it's brilliant. You know, Vanish is um, a laundry detergent for clothes. And we were able to uh, lock on to an insight that uh, folks with autism need familiarity and they need to have simple and the same. And Vanish prolongs the life of clothing. And the same clothing is very important to autism. So we were able to roll out a campaign related to autism and how Vanish really contributes to the comfort of folks with autism and I think that's a real winner. All the best to you for that and just one last question. Uh, what are your expectations from India? Uh, you know we've never really seen the Indian conclusion to us stealing the limelight at uh, Cannes. So do you think it's going to change this year and you're... Uh... <laughs> oh no! Buckle in, we're on our way. My, my lunch is not, I'm not feeling good with my lunch. No, <laughs> buckle in, we're on our way. Don't count them out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the time that I was in India a month ago, the energy, the inspiration, the approach to creativity, because creativity doesn't just sit in the creative yeah. department. Creativity sits within the entirety of the agency. Yeah. And the ability to pull different people in when you need it. Honestly, you need to watch the English come to the village. You need to come and visit the village. Gen you must. I'll be there soon. Come. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a unique village and we are really, really excited to see what all it can do. Thank you so much to all of you. It was an absolute pleasure talking to us.